and finally the gummy fish. That's individuality for you. Individuality is discovering who you're meant to be so you can make a difference. Here's one thing I've discovered about myself. I have a very special gift. I'm kind of an expert at finding the perfect candy combinations. For instance, everyone knows that chocolate and peanut butter goes well together. But did you know that sour worms and cherry starburst together will make your head spin? <laughs> But my most favorite combination is the one I'm working on right now. I start with sour candy. Oh, I love it so much. But too much sour can be a bad thing. So to balance it out, chocolate covered raisins. <laughs> they take some of the punch out of the sour. And plus, they used to be grapes, so healthy. Then, the gummy fish. Of course, these are key because they stick to your teeth so you know you'll be tasting them for at least another hour. You see that? <laughs> I used my gift of candy combining to really make a difference in my life. Now I have all these perfect little bags that I can enjoy for weeks to come. <laughs> or, at least a couple of days. I'm going to eat so much candy. So, so, so much candy. <laughs> I wonder if there's a better way for me to use my gift. One that won't make me sick or cost me a fortune at the dentist. You know, our story today is about a woman named Lydia. She had a very special gift too, and we're going to learn how she used it. So, so, so much candy. <laughs> I'll see you soon. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Acts, chapter 16, verses 13 through 15. Lydia of Thyatira was a remarkable woman. Her city was known for its craftsmen, especially those who made and sold expensive purple dye. Take a look. I use only the finest snail shells. Though most successful people in business were men, Lydia learned the craft of purple dye. And when she traveled to the Roman city of Philippi, she set up a business selling rare, expensive purple cloth. Please note, we have lilac, plum, iris, lavender, and grape fabric laid out. And over here, you'll find amethyst, eggplant, and orchid. Lydia had likely been raised to believe in many false gods, but in her heart, she knew there was something more. The Jewish people believe in just one god, what if they're right? The city of Philippi had laws against bringing any unknown religion into the city. But Lydia would meet outside the city gates on the riverbank with a group of women who believed in the one true God. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your strength. Lydia and the other women had never heard of Jesus. But as they began to seek God together, God sent a vision to someone else, the apostle Paul who was staying in the Greek city of Troas. Dream, it was so vivid. I saw a man standing right here begging me. He said, come over to Macedonia, help us. Immediately, Paul and his friends set sail. Within a few days, they reached land and traveled to Philippi, one of the most important cities in Macedonia. So we just start by finding a synagogue of Jewish believers, right? I don't think there is a synagogue here. On the Sabbath, a day of worship, Paul and his friends went down to the river, hoping to find a place of prayer. Shall we gather at the river? Um, excuse me. Hi there. Do you wish to join us? We're praying to the one true God. Absolutely. There, by the river, Paul told the story of Jesus and how anyone who chose to follow Jesus could have a relationship with God that lasts forever. 
But this is amazing. This changes everything. The Lord opened Lydia's heart to believe every word of Paul's message. I wish to be baptized at once. Not only was Lydia baptized, but she immediately shared the good news with her family and everyone who lived and worked in her home. And they too were baptized. Lydia gathered Paul and his friends. Do you consider me a believer in the Lord? If you do, come and stay at my house. We would be honored. As a successful businesswoman, Lydia's house was likely large and beautiful. We must meet here from now on. Lydia did not hesitate to give everything she had to the believers in the brand new church. And when Paul and Silas were later thrown in prison and then released, they immediately returned to Lydia's home to rest and prepare before they left the city. You must be brave. Of course we will. Don't forget to write. Later, Paul did write a letter to Lydia and others in the Church of Philippi, and he remembered his time spent in Lydia's home and the church there with great joy. I thank my God every time I remember you. In all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy. I'm happy because you have joined me in spreading the good news. God began a good work in you, and I am sure that he will carry it on until it is completed. In everything she did, Lydia continued to use her gifts to help others. Okay, so everyone has at least one gift, right? Something they can do really well. It doesn't have to be something flashy, like being an amazing singer. You could be good at baking, swimming, finding things that are lost, talking very, 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 very fast, making people laugh, identifying different species of birds. Uh, it's a, a blue-throated macaw. Lydia's gift was that she was good at business. She knew how to make money by selling things that people wanted. She sold purple cloth. I wonder if she sold a coat like this. Probably not. Whether you know it or not, you have a gift. You may even have more than one, but what your gifts are isn't as important as how you use them. Lydia used the money she made in her business to provide a place to stay for the Apostle Paul and his friends. She used her gifts to help others. And Jesus was constantly teaching people, healing people and loving people. He used his gifts to help others too. That's what we should do. When we're good at something, we shouldn't just use it to help ourselves or to make ourselves look good. God gave us our gifts and we should share them with other people. That's the one thing to remember today. Use your gifts to help others. So I think I'm gonna share these bags of candy instead of keeping them all to myself. And not only that, I bet I can use my gift to help other people find their favorite candy combinations. I could go into business like Lydia. Whew. This idea is making my head spin. I'll see you next time. Now, what candy goes well with chicka sticks?